Isn't that ironic that when you're tired, the best thing you do is something difficult and you wake up? So weird. It's so hard to tell your body that, though. Today was hard for me to tell my I mean, I do it every mm -hmm. day, but every day I have the same fucking conversation. My body's like, I gotta just lay here, bitch. But that's you're what discipline the, is. My body's like, you're the boss. No, he, nobody can tell you what to do. Shut the yeah, fuck up. I, we don't. We don't have yeah. to get up and do anything. I'm like, you work for you. Literally work for yourself. <laughs> you don't have to be at work until one thirty. What are you doing? Just go back to sleep. But then you got to have to, you go have to, to ask sleep. yourself, well, what would David Goggins do? David Goggins would already be up. He's up. He, that's not. You can't. You can't decide to live your life by what that guy does because you'll die. He's one of the scariest <laughs> people. Like you don't, you don't have to live this extreme, man. But he's lovely. He's a great guy. Like a, as I want to meet him someday. I he love, seems very cool. I love him to death. As a human, he's great. He's I, I a just, cool guy. I like his motivation. I like I like being around positive people yeah. that inspire me to do better. And when he trusts you, like he knows you, he's cool as fuck. He's he's a fun guy. He's Did he get into guy. it with Stavros? Get into it? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, were they upset with each other? Stavros, the comic? Yeah. No, really? Is I that saw, real? I saw, I saw a weird cut up video that I didn't know if it was oh, a real video. Or that's not. probably one of them Ping Trip videos. Oh, my. It was 100%. very funny. Yeah. It was Our very boy, funny. Ping Trip. I, Shout I out to believe. Ping Trip. Yeah. This is this dude, Ping Trip, who takes. <laughs> he takes. <laughs> it was impressive. He I had, was like. Yeah, yeah. Me and Duncan Trussell being in love with each other. There's like a ton that's of them out there. That's very funny. It's He's hilarious. He does a great job with those. Duncan's but, a good guy. Yeah, too. I don't think Stavros would say yeah. jack shit to David Goggins. Yeah, I was like, what? Nobody's going to talk shit to that guy. He's yes. terrifying. His fucking will and resolve is terrifying. It's, it's impressive. Oh, this is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, this is It's so good. You want to try a cookie? You want to try from me? <laughs> yeah, this one. Dude, it'll be fun. You're fat as f <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You want to be fat? Yeah, dude. Being fat's fun. Your mind is full of shit. <laughs> That's not okay. It's not okay. It's not acceptable. You need to <laughs> work harder. I don't want to be doing work. You roll your fat ass out of bed and all you want is some fucking damn cinnamon buns and shit. Yeah, I love that. Man, you are a piece of shit. Oh my god, this is horrible. <laughs> yeah, man, that's why this I was like, harsh. are they okay? Oh my god, this is so harsh. I, I don't want to work that hard. You're not a man. You know, fucking man, dude. Like, I'm sorry, I can't. You're a fat, sloppy motherfucker. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. This is too real. It, it's a, it was aggressive. I was yeah. genuinely concerned. Stavos is one of those guys. He's so funny. I don't care if he's fat. I, <laughs> stay, stay fat, bro. I haven't had a chance of meeting him yet, but I really want he's to. I think, so funny. I, he's man. he's fucking hilarious. He's such a character. He's so funny on stage. Mm -hmm. He's so funny in real life. He's fucking hilarious. And fucking hustles too, dude. Yeah. The, the clip, the clips he yeah. puts out, the vlogs and everything. That's funny. The young kids today, they respect your social media hustle. <laughs> it's only because, uh, like, what most people don't know about me is I, I, I. I didn't want to do it for so long. Like, you don't understand. I despise social media. The ultimate success for me would be to so, be so successful. I could, I never have to look at my social media for the rest of my life. Mm. I, I just want to get there. So when I now, because of the work I've put in on it, I, I respect people who do do the work. Yeah. Um, I respect it. It's, it's definitely, uh, it's, it makes a, look, if you're a good comic and nobody knows that doesn't help anybody. Yeah, it's you know, exposure, I, dude. You and, have to have yeah, it. Yeah, there's a lot of guys who are doing a really good job with that. Jeff Dye does a really good job with mm. that. There's a lot of guys who are like Mark Norman. Yeah. Sam, Sam Morell. All those oh, guys. Yeah. Those guys are doing a fantastic job. Oh, like when, when Schultz and Morell started putting out their mm -hmm. clips, that's when I was like, I have, the I have to do it. Well, Schultz converted it into a Netflix show. I know. Genius. Amazing. Well, when he was, he, at first he was doing, uh, it was when he was doing his. He was releasing a new bit every single week. Yeah. And he was like, well, if I can write one minute a week for a year, that's a brand new hour. Boom, yeah. 52 minutes. Yeah. And I just thought that was so inspiring. And I was like, I, I need to be doing something relative to that. Well, it's also, you know, the pandemic kind of opened up doors and also closed a shitload of them. But it did open up doors with time. And when you're just sitting there and you can't do the normal thing that you do, mm -hmm. you start thinking, okay, 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 feel sorry for myself. That's all over. Let's get over that. And now let's figure out what can we do. Yeah. And if you're a hustler, if you're a guy who's like, you know, like a guy like Andrew, who's always trying to figure things out and get ahead and do uh, better. And, yeah. It's like, so he created like a no, a di and by the way, it's a totally different style of comedy mm -hmm. than his stand up, which yeah. is interesting because it's these rapid fire punchlines, 
Whereas stand up is much more engaging yeah. and he, he, he pauses more, he laughs a lot. More He's personable. Kind of, yes, yes. So th this is like a different kind of comedy. Mm -hmm. But it was like really the best kind of comedy for the pandemic. Yeah. Like short attention span, oh, rapid yeah. fire jokes, very silly, and turn your phone, phone sideways. It changed everything. Yeah. That's scary to think about. You had you had to do it. You had to do something. It was almost like a like a late night show the way the way he wrote that material. Yes. Yeah. And the attention span during that time period was so fast. Remember, we thought Quibi was going to be a good thing. I Every, never thought it was going to be a good thing. No, nobody in their right fucking uh, mind did. But Hollywood <laughs> went. Well, everyone's watching short things now, and everyone. Are, are, you, are you sure? Well, everyone's on their phone. Those are always short videos. What they don't understand is that you can't just set out to create a successful show like that or a successful thing like that and throw a bunch of money at it and know that it's going to be successful. No. You have to let them become successful, then you acquire them. Mm -hmm. That's the only way. Yeah. Like if you're through like, because they'll give up, just like they give up with a TV show. If you have a TV show on ABC, mm -hmm. you know, and then the first few episodes come out and it doesn't do well, and then it drops off with the fourth, yeah, you're done, son. Yeah. Over. But if you have something that you've developed on your own and you put it on, and the, these videos go viral naturally, then it makes sense that you have like a channel mm -hmm. where there's ten seconds of these videos that have already gone viral and people know to look for them, but. If you're trying to get people to sign up for some new fucking thing while YouTube already exists, yeah, and you're going to dump all the... Unless you're like completely uncensored, like Rumble or something like uh -huh. that, that kind of makes sense. That makes sense. But uh, you're not going to be able to compete with them in terms of just entertainment. There's everything on there. I will respect them taking a risk that Hollywood just doesn't do anymore. Every meeting I go into now is like, so what reboots do we, do we want to do? Right. Like, that's a real conversation every single meeting I have, and it's so sad. Well, there's probably less projects than ever before. Yeah, and definitely. There's probably less money than ever before, and less certainty. I mean, nobody wants to sit through 8 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. and watch three different commercial breaks. Yeah. We don't want to do that anymore. No. People are done with that. Yeah. That shit's stupid. And yeah, unless you're a sitcom, that's the only yeah. thing that really lives. Yeah. That's, you know, middle, middle of America. Yeah. And then you're watching arthritis commercials. <laughs> yeah. Like, what, come on. <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> you know, with Netflix and with HBO and all these different streaming services, it's like, wow. Like, OnlyFans is getting in on the game as well. Yeah, they're producing comedy too, right? They're yeah, they're, they're, wrapping, they're wrapping my tour bus coming up. I'm so excited. That's hilarious. So funny to get a sponsorship. If you're